The ship that brought the dying Arthur to Avalon sailed to the Whispering Cove. But a terrible storm arose, and that was the last time anyone heard of the once and future king. We need to locate the ship first, then the king. Sir Balin tells me that the area is infested with the living dead. And Sir Balin knows best, doesn't he? Okay, quick overview for those that are wondering. Uh, we're taking out Sir Kay. We're giving him the uh, vigorous sigil of retort, so he's reflecting damage. Now, the only other one to consider is the Mark of the Guardian, which has less armor, less health, uh, but we have that one extra AP from it. And this oh, makes sure that you can't get backstabbed, essentially, which is nice, but I... Don't know if it's that good. And then I guess the plus 5% damage until the end of the encounter for each hit received is pretty good because the encounter is pretty long. I don't know. Maybe that is enough. Maybe that is enough to, to take that. Cool. He's got the Initiator's Room of Destruction. We do have a, a green item that is uh, damage against Lost. But because it's on a range, it's 12 to 16, right? Whereas straight up, I'm doing 13 to 15 with the other one. And we got armor breaking and damage against unharmed units. So I feel like that's the way to go. And then he's got the leeching trophy for uh, heals as he kills things. And uh, I guess that... Yeah, I guess that's good. He's got the, A the AoE damage buff here from the Thinker Stone ring. Yeah, cool. Okay, uh, Balin. He's got the Rejuvenating Sigil of First Aid, so Vitality at the end and HP when drinking potions. Um, this one, I should have swapped, so this should be in there, so Lost Units don't reanimate. He's got the Dodging of the First Opportunity Attack, and he's got the Backstabs Ignore 4 Armor for uh, damage on Backstabs as well. So, super excited to see what he's capable of. Now, Hector, he's got the uh, dodging of the first attack. He's got the Rune of Deep Wounds here. And I'm giving him this scroll that we have. So he has a ranged attack that deals 10 to 15 damage, ignoring cover and armor. So this will be like, uh, hey, I'm in trouble. Let's use this. And uh, we'll take one potion on him. I also went and bought four potions from the merchant just to kind of stock up. So that's why our gold has dropped a little bit. Uh, extra damage against Lost here, and extra damage on Force Bolt with some extra armor breaking. Lastly, Yvain, minus 2 damage from ranged, uh, 9 to 10 on the Sharpshooter, and then uh, 1 Bless Potion, extra loyalty, which brings him into the next tier, and uh, 2 armor piercing, and 50% of the unit's block values being ignored on this Marksman charm. So, yeah, I'm excited. Let's uh, go. It's a main mission. There's a recruitable hero. Lost. Let's fight it. Baby. I, I don't even want to say... I feel maybe uh, off saying main or side missions because clearly the, the missions in this game are just overflowing with story and, like, engagement. So, I, I feel like you almost diminish it by saying it's just, you know, we have side missions. Here they are, finally. Arthur's ship is not far from here, at the end of the path. Oh, hello. I can see the campfire off in the distance. That's cool. Uh, I presume our way back is blocked. Yeah, okay. You guys are looking good out there. Scatter birds, scatter. I like how they're not flying. They don't fly. They just scatter quickly. That's inaccessible right now. Just by me clicking on it. Oh, maybe not. I think I was just blocked in there. So how does one reach this campfire? That is inaccessible right now. Okay. So maybe what we'll do... I'll target this. Nope. <laughs> this Never mind. This used to be the ship that carried the dying King Arthur to Avalon. Before something terrible happened. Yeah, somehow I'm getting down to that beach. 
That part is clear. Oh boy. That's new. How come her bells aren't ringing? Immersion ruined. Maybe they don't have the little knocker inside. That's possible, I guess. By the old gods, a banshee. The banshee lost her bell knocker. Okay, what now? I mean, these guys are gonna get absolutely destroyed. Make up your mind. Awaiting your command. I am here to serve. Oh, there's a hidden one. A lost squire, if you will. Oh, how lost he is. Mind. Let me see if I can get a little slow on there. No mercy for the wicked. Okay, Sir K's got that power attack that we were looking to unlock on what? Uh, Landfall, was it? Honest? Oh, okay. Okay. Something big back there, though. Go power attack. To fight. Power and glory. Blessings. Mm. I thought we might end up blocking that. Blessings. Make up your mind. Ready to fight. The slow trickle of enemies, just the way I like them. The nice thing about Sir K is he can actually use his strike attack twice. We saw that. That struggle. Um. Landfall. What are we waiting for? Okay. Nothing left to kill. Just now I know we're right. technically a, a level rating above this mission. Vulnerability pass. What do we have here? So I'm not expecting us to have like super struggles. And like these guys, I mean, even a previous level we'd be, we're smashing them right now. Just with the gear that we have. Trying to win the hearts of ladies I widowed is one mistake <laughs> I always tend to make. Win the hearts of ladies I've widowed because everyone died, you know? Get it? That's good. That's very good. Okay, so it looks like we could head off and Okay. Look at the endless sea of the other world, where the gods and the dead sail. Nice. Just appreciating the environment. What's this? Unnecessary campfire here. Who's this? Treasure lost and found. That's pretty rare. We do not often see that. Oh, you know what would be cool? They should add. 
let's say you come here, everyone's armor and HP are literally full. That's the only circumstance in which that happens. But then you could get like maybe a 10 or 20% um, damage buff or something as a reward for not being clapped on your way to the campfire. Why do I have a feeling we're gonna have to kill a banshee? Oh, now! Okay, to be fair, I thought this would maybe be like the end of the level. Um, however, here we are. Five to seven damage. It's fine. Scream. That appears to be on cooldown. Drain life. She can like... She, yeah, okay. She's poison and bleed immune. Ready to fight. I serve the Lord. Let's slow her down. I am here to serve. And if I come up there, like I've got four AP. I'm looking to see if I can get to that ranged unit. With four AP usage, but not yet. I'm Maybe if K serve. is moved. Maybe. I'm gonna position him here. Ready to fight. That would do it. And I have to kill this guy. But then I have the two archers taken care of. Oh, beautiful. That was really nice. If I burn this guy, he gets less AP. What are we waiting for? But I actually feel like let's do this. That'll do. I only have movement AP left, unfortunately. What? Awaiting your command. A little closer than I wanted. Your Highness. Okay, you finish off the squire. These guys are all coming back. Oh, Ready to fight. I should have taken that there, but Ready to fight. I blew it. It's bleeding immune, but I could do damage reduction. Until we're able to deal with it. Ready to fight. Let's see. Okay, so I do have a cleave here. Cleave is dealing 103. Uh, how much is this one? Because we used a bunch, yeah. So I could actually power attack to break all this armor. It's actually, yeah. It's Cleave here. 
Gets rid of the rest of the armor. I am here to serve. Sidestep. Ready. Blessings. Sneaky, sneaky. Serve the Lord. Yeah, okay. Don't love that. Clearly. Make up your mind. I'm gonna get in a little closer. Put that slow back on. Is she bleeding, uh, burning immune? No. for her to move here. That's cool. It loses AP. Okay. Make up your mind. Surprise! This is a lot of damage. I wish we Oh wait, what the Oh, she has pieces? Come on! We would have had her, man. Okay. Uh, we'll take this for HP, I guess. You haven't earned, earned anything. Okay, are you guys settled? Like, I feel like my units are all over the place here. Looking for other goodies. Interesting. This may serve okay, we found the beach. Now, I wonder if we encounter her again. Is she gonna be at full health or should she be where we had her? Look, there's someone among the wreckage. Is he alive at all? Looks like he's got a poison blade. Could he be the guy? The recruitable hero? Okay, I see two crossbowmen at least. Ready to fight. Now, these guys are going to get buffs, but it's fine. Power and glory. Blink. I serve the Lord. I feel like this is such a messy little situation.
God, that damage. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Okay, power attack, delete. I serve the Lord. Ugh. Power and glory. Okay, we'll kill him on the next turn. Your Highness. I am here to serve. I serve the Lord. Surprise, coming in hot. Oh, that's so strong. That class is so good. At first they appeared a little weak. Oh, it's Geralt. Isn't this splendid? The Knights of the Round Table still hacking <laughs> away at monsters like it mattered at all. Another lost one. The heraldry looks familiar, Sir Tristan. Surprised? Yes, I am dead. Just like you all are. Only you have failed to embrace it yet. Dead or alive, I need answers. Don't we all? It's a pity to see you like this, Tristan, which begs the question, where is Fair is sold? Or Tristan and his old. My life is no more. What happened to her? She became an enchantress of the lady, and she paid dearly for her service. And what happened to your ship? The storm came, and it was born out of pain and festering rage. <sighs> it was an otherworldly tempest, like fate itself wanted to prevent the ship reaching Avalon. And you were on that ship? Yes. I escorted the dying king here so the lady could nurture him back to life. Doesn't sound like such a great idea now, does it? There is not a moment when I will not curse fate for what transpired here. Still wonder what happened to you. I died without fulfilling my oath. The king left me here to rot. An ugly way to die. Here we all get what we deserve. Where's King Arthur? I was told he was here. In his own personal hell, crippled by pain and madness. Yeah, you're gonna need to be clearer. When the enchantresses of the lady took him away, something must have happened, because the next time I saw him, he was not himself. Why? What happened? The king has turned into darkness incarnated. He is the Knight of Midnight now. The Knight of Midnight? what I feared. He shall perish. Lead me to him. I will not. First, you have to set me free from the curse that chains my talking corpse here. <laughs> okay, you help me, I help you. How? We must light the magical bale fire on the shore that gives me back my will. That's it? Trust me. I tried countless times and I was killed again and again. Okay. Come with me then. Prove what you're capable of. Sick. So, he does have poison blades. 80% weapon damage to an adjacent enemy two times, and then causes poison. They take four to seven at the start of their turn. So I guess that's like 90% 90, 90 poison damage, and they deal less damage as well. He's got a jump, he's got the bear trap. Okay, so he's like another uh, vanguard. Very cool. Okay, there's nothing doing back there. Fair enough. Sir Tristan, even death couldn't unite you with your Isolde. Yeah, way to rub it in there. Got a couple of campfires. The must light is beyond the bridge. And not too far, there is the shrine where they took the knights from the ship before they were taken to the Lady's Sacred Grove. Ooh, we have a ruined castle. Let's check this. Oh, it's my favorite, the Banshee, the badass Banshee. You will never leave this place. That's gonna change, lady. Gonna change. Oh, cool, and she does keep her health as well. 
Um, there's some range units. They're kind of far-ish at the moment. Let's go power attack here. Could do. That's a it's a bit awkward, I'm fully aware. But if he walks into that, I think we kill him. This will guarantee he dies if he hits that. Awaiting your command. I could even set another trap. And then we'll hide. And we'll conserve the rest there. Your Highness. Okay. Surprise! So he's gonna hit that trap now. Nice. We gave up our jump for that, but I feel like that's fine. Okay, there we go. I am here to serve. Uh, no poison here. Oh, I blew it. I blew it. Your Highness. Blessings. I am here to serve. What? Oh, I still have this guy right in front of me. Waiting your command. Let's slow her. If anything, this archer might be able to put some damage in before we can kill him. Blessings. Oops. Uh, we do have to kill this thing, actually. Your Highness. If I come down here, I only get one attack on it. Power and glory. Okay, what is what is this? What is above his head? What does that little skull icon mean on me? Did she do something? Oh, that was I think that was his hide thing. So we're gonna go death strike. Oh, I, bad math, bad math. 
I took it at, at face value. get this shot with eight. That looks good. I have no jump. Hide and get in there. I am ready. I mean, she has a little sustain. I serve the Lord. Oh, we are going to do so much damage here. <laughs> we'll see you next time. It, oh, that must be her. I shall see her again. Yeah. My sweet disorder. That's cool. Don't mind me. I might just loot the body. This is my lucky day. Cool. Just ahead. I like him. I like him a lot. I think having those poison blades is a, a neat alternative to what we have going with Balan. Is it just me or is like is the champion class kind of the After my Isorda became the lady's servant, she told me that she renounced our love. And still she spent some long nights here. Watching the bale fire that guided my ship back to Avalon. When the Knight of Midnight came here, he killed each and every enchantress of the lady. And he was enjoying himself, I could tell. I can't even tell you how many times the bale fire guided me through the otherworldly storms. This is the magical bale fire. Every time I get this close, the Banshee stops me huh. from lighting the oh, fire. The Banshee's about to get destroyed. I suppose I could have gone back to that campfire and got max armor too, but... Don't you dare to light the fire. We don't know if there's more after this either, so... Okay, see two archers? I wonder if we killed her directly. <laughs> I think we're gonna go here. Counted there. Your Highness, I serve the Lord. Let's hit this crossbowman. I feel like he's going to be harder to reach Your for Evane. I am here to serve. Hutsack. This could also be a fight where if the Banshee dies, he's just gone.
Okay, I can throw another one. And then I can hide. Let's maybe put the slow on the Lost Knight there. His whole bleeding thing is completely wasted. There's some damage reduction to be gained, but I don't think it's that good. Awaiting your command. Oh, that's a backstab? I honestly thought we were fine there, but my bad. Making him look bad at the moment. Awaiting your command. I'll throw one of these out and hide. Start some burning here. What? None of these guys are coming up this turn, so I am here to serve. What are we waiting for? Okay. The Lord is my witness. Sinners shall bleed. Trying to escape this one. Oh, almost. Make up your mind. I am ready. It's about as good as it's gonna get. Your <laughs> Unfortunately. So I'll need five there. Which means this will... Uh, actually. This works. I serve the Lord. Awaiting your command. Okay, so she's dead. To fight. He's in the way. Glory. He's dead. Actually, I should have just taken that shot on her right there. Because what I'm interested to see here is if these guys reanimate. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should have just taken the shot on her. Finally. She is drained and weak. I will light the fire now. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe as soon as we kill her, it just ends like this. Yep. Cool. Tristan, my love. Oh! You have broken a curse. And you know the price. Did not see now that, that coming. I should have. Not allowed to stay. Farewell. I swear I will find you again, uh, Isolde. That's such a cool touch. I swear. Thank you. For this, I'll owe you forever. That's true, but you have lied to me. Knights don't lie. I only omitted parts of the truth. I get you gotta do what you gotta do. The end does justify the means in this case. I told you that you must light the bale fire to break the curse. It was true, <laughs> but it was never my curse. Fair. The fire freeder soul, is that it? Exactly. And now that his soul dies free, I can finally leave this place as well. Okay then, so where's King Arthur? Before he killed me, 
the creature of darkness he had become, he told me something. He is bound by magic to the sacred lake of the lady. And where's the lake? Not far from here. It used to be heart of Avalon. Now it is the heart of midnight. Let's go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, this guy did kind of come back. Oh, a nice little hidden chest down here. Oh my. It's gonna be good, isn't it? By the Lord's gift. Not really. The 80 gold is nice though. Anything maybe down this path? Nope. Just for completion's sake, we're gonna hit the campfire and heal. It'll make me feel nice. And that matters. Yeah, so that was cool. I like the little twist there with that, the curse being uh, for her, not for him. Cook some food for me. Oh, what the? Who's this? <laughs> Whoa. I'm so glad we checked. You're asking me to kill you? You can't. I am bound here by the blood I spilled. Only someone else's blood. That's funny. Okay, uh, yes, yeah, somebody can lose health. I don't know how much they have. I'll take Tristan. Finally, I am free. Wonder why it couldn't be the other two. Maybe their HP is too low? Yeah, that's exactly it. Huh, neat. That's I really funny. Feeling about this. Do you expect Arthur lying wounded on the shore? Because I don't. Usually we wouldn't even check these campfires, but now, me. like... That's really cool. Okay. Let's roll. Let's see what this thing is. Isolde's Necklace. Grants the heal skill and plus two damage against the loss. Wow. An actual healing skill? Now we're talking, dude. Now we're talking. Uh, heavy armor here. Gain extra armor when resting. Gain armor when drinking potions. Yeah, I think our other ones are better. Backstabber's Ring of Leeching. Gain two HP for each kill and damage for backstabs. Not bad. Right now we've got the four armor pierce and the four backstab damage. Uh, an amulet that does reflection damage. That's kind of cool. Scroll of Taunt. Every enemy unit within four tiles will attack the hero. So this is something we would want to combo with the thing that gives us extra damage uh, every time that we're attacked until the end of the encounter. Like, I get that. Um, but at the same time, I feel like if they're all within four tiles and we've positioned our guys semi-correctly, then that should be the, the targeted unit anyway. The rest of this stuff is fine. No levels there, which makes sense. Our guys are all pretty up there. I found the ship that brought the king to Avalon and rescued Sir Tristan from his curse that bound him to the wreckage. I learned that the lady took Arthur away from here. Something terrible happened to him and the king returned as the monstrous Knight of Midnight. He's hiding out not far from here in the Heart of Midnight. Okay. Landval regained vitality. Well, that's good. That's what he was doing. Sir Tristan is here. All right, so he's the exact same as Balin, but I, I do love that they do this. So he's a vanguard, vanguard, but then they have slightly different skills, just like our two marksmen. That's really, really awesome. So like he's got the, the poison cut blades, he's got the, the strike damage. Oh, I guess you could make this a poison blade. Huh. But looks like it still operates a little differently. The former Troubadour Knight of the Round Table now looks like a former sh a shadow of his former self, but he hasn't lost his skills. His bravery and the urge to fight for lost causes, his legendary affair with the fair lady Isolde, 
might have been the result of a misplaced love potion, but that doesn't change anything about their romance. No wonder that Tristan's tragedy was losing the love of his life twice. Once in Britannia, where she died, and then in Avalon, where she became the Enchantress of the Lady of the Lake and turned into a recluse. Tristan, who died not long after his love, found new purpose in Avalon, where he went on daring adventures to gain back her attention. For a while, he sailed on the ship that brought the fallen knights from Britannia, mostly in the tumultuous times preceding the Battle of Camelon. Tristan was also sent back for the dying King Arthur and brought him to Avalon on a ship. Upon arrival, they faced an otherworldly terrible storm that wrecked the ship in the Whispering Cove. Tristan survived and witnessed the Enchantress of the Lady take away the king to a sacred location to revive him. As the unnatural tempest raged on, something not entirely human came appeared. The Night of Midnight. He struck down Tristan, who came back as a lost one, trying to find his peace at last. And he's badass, too. Yeah, sick. Plus two poison damage. AP when starting a turn hidden. Maximum weapon damage. Okay. Okay. Suffered HP damage increased by one. Now, it's not the end of the world, okay? But... I will clear his injuries. I almost wonder... If I should save the hundred bucks here and just let him heal for free. Two missions where he's not out there. Um, we have K. Oh, I think I mentioned, I started to talk about champions seeming like they might not be that great. But I actually meant uh, Mordred's class, the defender. <laughs> That's what I really meant. Um, and I often get these guys confused. I shouldn't. All right. So, it's only a hundred gold, but let's do a free one. I'm feeling cheap. All right, round table. We're going to unlock additional hero slots now. This is going to cost a lot. Oh, Guardian of the Lady. Adds three loyalty for the holder of the title, plus two additional loyalty for Old Faith Knights. Okay, hold on. He's neutral. Immune to poison and bleeding. He's got plus six loyalty straight up. And he's tough. Injuries require one less round to heal from the hero. Cool. I don't have any old faith knights. Which is where I'd ultimately like to be myself. Um, but his loyalty, that would take him to nine. I could, I could put Landval in there, but, like, does this just constantly happen where he's, like, minus one, minus one, minus one? I think so. That's the way I read it. Hundred percent loyalty from court title defender of the bridge, so we're gonna keep him there. She's good. Plus fifty percent loyalty from court titles. Royal protector. That adds five, and this one adds three. Six to nine. I don't have him in a spot, so I'll put him there. Still in good, so one more and he's over, which is nice. Okay. Uh, anything interesting in here? I'll buy a couple of those. I'm not going to get rid of that, I'll tell you that much. It's my only one available. Heal. Okay, okay. I was wondering what this was going to imply. So it is 15 HP, which is a lot. Don't get me wrong. But it's basically like a potion. And then you're giving up, you're giving up the, uh, 
the slot. You are getting some physical and mental debuff resist, and you're getting damage against Lost. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's that good. I guess we'll see. We'll try it out, and we'll see. Okay. Uh, is there anything else I want to be unlocking here? I could... I could make a good argument for unlocking this. Oh, sorry, my bad. First things first. Let's do this one. So we can find more people. That's gonna that's gonna take pretty much all of our cash. Um additional healing there could be decent. Hospice, kind of the same thing. Thing. Training ground for leveling up while we're off on other missions could be good too. This is kind of nice. Stuff like this, like extra HP. I think there's an armor one somewhere. So Mordred is going to hit his next level here. Maybe I'll save this. I do want to keep a little buffer of building resources for, like, random checks and stuff. Like these events, maybe? Oh, interesting. According to the legends, the Bone Crags used to be the burial place of the first inhabitants of Babylon. This labyrinth of distorted bones and ancient monoliths was always a sinister place, but recently the ancient spirits started to awaken from their dark slumber. A druid of the old faith is asking our help in a purifying ritual, but that would require the essence of the lady, as the druid says, that's what you, Sir Mordred, carry in your blood. So I have to give an injury to Mordred to go old faith, which I'm going to do, because I'm a psychopath. Infected wound. Suffers... Suffered poison effects, duration is doubled. I actually don't even feel bad about that. I think that's totally fine. Unsettling visitor here. Uh, Camelot can be a crossroad for charlatans and lunatics, but this pox scarred alchemist looks different. The stranger's presence may be uncomfortable, but the offer is tempting. In exchange for a quiet corner in the enchanted tower, I can benefit from his expertise. What troubles me is that he also mentioned living subjects for his experiments. Although there are fitting candidates in the dungeons. Okay. Uh, Enchanted Tower upgrade. 10% more relic dust gain from sacrificed items. Decreases all your Christian heroes' loyalty. Politely reject or banish him. Mordred suffers another injury. Christian heroes become more loyal. Now... Because I'm going to be moving into Old Faith, keeping their loyalty up in some way is probably a good thing for us. Um, hold on. So this Enchanted Tower upgrade, I bet you that's going to cost more in here, isn't it? Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, here. So this requires three morality and then an unlock of probably like a thousand, right? Probably like a thousand, which is a lot of gold. So basically here, I could say lose a loyalty on Dindrain, Balan, and Ector. Keeps him in the same bracket. He would go down into this one. So right now he's 20% extra damage, which is a lot. And Dindrian would go down to 5. Um, but then I would get that upgrade. The thing is, right now I'm not trading a lot of my relics. So that might not even come into play until much later. And then I feel like I'm going to have a lot of gold at that point. And if I go this way, as I said, I think... Having loyalty on these guys is going to become more challenging in the future if we go swing that morality tree. So I'm going to do this. Second injury. Suffered vitality damage is increased by one. Yeah, I mean, that sucks. It 
does suck. Land ball is in there for injuries now. Uh, that's fine. We'll let him finish that. So I got the Haunted Forest and I got Warrior Queen. So I guess we'll start with the lowest one here. I'm officially neutral between Old Faith and Christianity. So remember, we're going over here. We only... <laughs> so this one, the Wounded Friar, I didn't notice if it had a Christian symbol there. So I just tried to help the guy. And that gave us a plus one. Otherwise, we'd be over here with... Uh, with two. Tyrant-wise, I'm at four, which is great. At seven, it's going to unlock a mission with the Black Knight. Red Knight at 13. And then extra gold coming in there, which is nice. Lady Morgana here, Old Faith. Sir Dagonet. Oh, look at that. Tyrant and Old Faith heroes gain additional two loyalty due to the ruler's morality. That's cool. Relic Smasher. Wartime levies, 5,000 gold, but minus one loyalty to all heroes? Interesting. Oh, these are uh, decrees. Huh. So I can basically trade off all my loyalty for money. Some of these passives are more interesting than others. The real... The, I think the real cool thing is... The, uh... Who you can recruit. Obviously, Lancelot would have been cool, but, like, these guys all look badass, too. So, anyway. It's exciting. Haunted Forest. Another hero. See? Good thing we bought that. Lost and Brigands. Warrior Queen is not a hero. And then we have the Heart of Midnight, which is level 6. Not a hero. We have to kill the Knight of Midnight. And we have to bring Mordred. I'll try to get him healed up uh, before then, obviously. But we have a couple to tackle first. So, yeah. Who would we bring here? I feel like we bring Tristan, obviously. And then... We haven't done this yet. He has never cared about fame. But maybe we'll take the double and I need knights the double marksman table. So this looks like an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone. We take the double marksman, we have a vanguard and we have Sir Kay. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. See, and this is where like I can only take 4, right? So having the extra training ground slot, maybe that is good value here. I'm going to be out of building resources if I do it, but like... I want to keep some, but we'll get some from the mission as well. I'm going to do it. But he's already in there. Hector. Just looking at who would be the best of these two. Hector's already so high. So I guess we go here. And we're going to simply train. Right? Because we can take him out of there. And he still keeps all his XP, which is so nice. And that's how I'm going to try to manage our... Guys that aren't doing anything. Okay, Haunted Forest coming up next, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a good time. Love you all. Bye.